Oh yeah, that was nice and fast. That was faster than lighting it with a match. Yeah. yeah. Alright, this is the Lark 3 watt laser from c4lasers.com. Uh, this is the laser body itself with uh, one of the tips attached for creating really cool uh, shapes on the wall. comes with a pair of uh, goggles here which are admittedly pretty poor quality. The, uh, the surface is not really optically flat here so it's, it's, it kind of tends to uh, blur your vision a little bit when you put them on. So you might want to look into getting some other kind of goggles. Things are pretty cheap these days. Uh, it comes with a charger and uh, the batteries which are back here. Uh, it's a pair of the uh, 16 340 uh, 3.7 volt batteries and I had to figure out which direction it went in so I marked a plus here to make sure I, I got it right. Um, there's no instructions on which direction the batteries go in uh, but like a lot of laser pointers the plus points away from the beam and touches this cap. The way I figured it out is uh, I saw some scratch marks on the cap here from when they tested it and some matching scratches on the battery. So I knew that the, the positive went that side and lo and behold it did work. Now uh, while I've got this apart we may as well take the rest of the laser apart and see how they did on construction. So this part unscrews and this takes the whole front end of the laser off and this is a little bit uh, interesting here. So this part unscrews a lot of threads and they've got the uh, circuit board in here there's a little uh, trim pot here which might allow me to adjust the power uh, I'm actually planning to turn the power down a little bit so that the battery lasts longer and hopefully the laser lasts longer it's kind of an odd construction uh, here uh, I don't really like how they did it because this part is what gets hot when the lasers on but it is not in thermal contact with this piece there's actually a pretty significant gap between the inside of here and the outside of this. And so you don't get thermal transfer from the laser to this part of the case. It will eventually transfer to this part of the case where the batteries are, uh, but it's just through a little tiny piece here. So this is not a very good thermal design, and I'm looking for a possible way to to get that in better contact uh, to keep the heat sinking there. Either that or I'll just run it low duty cycle uh, frequently. Okay, then this part unscrews. This is how they adjust the focus. And of course this is just a tip that I have uh, installed now so this unscrews as well. And now this has no lens in it, which is kind of perplexing. Why, how can you adjust the focus with no lens? Well, there is a metal bushing down in here, which pushes on the aluminum here. And this thing is spring-loaded with the lens into the laser. So you're actually pushing the lens down and up uh, using this threading, which is really a strange way to do it. I would have rather put the lens glued it here so that you've got uh, a direct way to do it. What, what happens sometimes is as you're adjusting the focus, this thing will jump suddenly, and you'll see the beam suddenly just jerk around a little bit uh, rather than getting a nice smooth focus. And this doesn't, it doesn't seem to have any advantages uh, that I can tell right here, but maybe if I take this apart further, I'll find uh, some advantage. So here's the tip of the laser, the, the part on the spring that pushes in and out kind of clumsy but it works. Uh, circuit board and the gunk that they use to hold that in. Now I haven't tried to get the laser out yet but my suspicion is if the laser is mounted on here it may just be pushed up against a piece of metal in here and again may not be in very good thermal contact. I'm a little concerned about that so I'm going to check into it because I definitely don't want to burn my laser out because of poor thermal contact. Uh, here's that adjustment trimmer 
that I might be able to use to turn the uh, intensity down a little bit and save battery life and save laser life. So basically, I'll put this thing back together here. Uh, the tips are a lot of fun and I can't wait to show you that. So we'll, we'll do that next. Incidentally, I just test, I just charged these batteries. Had them charging overnight. And they're measuring right about four and a quarter volts, which is exactly what they said the battery should be uh, when fully charged. And I noticed that the charger it comes with, uh, I tested this, and it maxes out at four, uh, four a change, uh, about 4.27 volts, so it does uh, charge to the correct voltage. Uh, the one problem with this, when I got this, I realized the batteries, when you stick them in, they were not contacting the contacts. There was extra space in here. And so what I had to do is grab some pliers and stretch these springs downward so that they actually had contact. It's just a terrible design flaw there that they should have caught, but they didn't. But the charger seemed to work well, so uh, they're at full voltage now. You do get five of these tips, and these are a load of fun to play with, so we'll be showing you those later. Definitely our favorite one. Mm -hmm. You can make squares, square patterns in all kinds of sizes. Small ones, big ones. Okay. Oh, that's a cool one. Looks like a sphere. And turn the tip. Turn it nice and slow and see how it happens. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Here's your third tip. Yeah. And collapses to a 1D line and up into like a square. It's pretty cool. Ooh, here's another tip. This is really cool. Okay. Here's one of the tips on the ceiling. Yep. When you turn the tip, it rotates. It's a little bit tough to see. Maybe I can... Hi. Today we're doing lasers. When I, what I mean is lasers is three watt powerful lasers. Today we're going to pop a baby water balloon and some more bigger size water balloons. That one's just peeing on me. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Three watt laser, five water balloons. We gotta lift it up a little bit. Put it closer. Oh, there we go. There we go. It just wasn't in focus, that's why. Pick number two. Oh yeah, that was nice and fast. That was faster than lighting it with a match. Yeah. Man, Man that's awesome. Let's try again. That is sweet. Yeah. There we go. Cool. That was some cool fireworks, huh? Alright. Let's try the obligatory matches. Easy peasy. Open the hole for it. Yep. Open. Look at that hole. See if you can draw on it. Let's see if that hole I can. I feel like drawing in the little There's goggles on. You can smoke it. Wow, you can see it come out the other end a little bit. You can catch on fire, certainly. I'm kind of drawing it. Awesome. <laughs> what did you say? I said that's awesome. <laughs> 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 
be like a fire. Wow. Whoa. Ping pong balls do really burn. Yeah, certainly do. They burn up. A smoldering pile of carbon. Mm -hmm. Here's what's left of the ping pong ball. It's just a mess of uh, really thin carbon, I guess. It's super lightweight, just blows around, it just falls apart in your hand. Interesting. Those are louder than I think. I think they're louder than throwing them. Recording. There we go. There's that nice three watt laser beam. Focus it into some kind of spotlight there. It's about the tightest focus right there. Pretty cool all over the backyard. Yeah. Can't tell it's the backyard, but it's pretty far. So I measured the laser power uh, using its own batteries uh, with my own homemade Peltier Junction laser meter here. And uh, we determined that with fully charged batteries you get about two to two and a half watts of output power. Uh, here I am just holding it defocused above the Peltier sensor. And uh, so it's not bad, two and a half watts for batteries. Now it quickly goes down, uh, probably to one to one and a half watts after a few minutes of use. but still. Pretty respectable for a, such a small pointer. Mm -hmm.